Hi, welcome to this new tutorial about uh, FEM utilities. So as you can see, we've taken uh, a part, which is a automotive knuckle, with uh, a geometry not so simple. And we decide to mesh to mesh it in oak, oak tree, a triangular mesh in KTV5. And so after updating the mesh, which the size is 10 mm you can see this mesh. I would decide to analyze the quality to begin with. So we have some tools in KTV5. And we can notice some some bad elements represented in red on, uh, at the screen. So in FAM utilities we can decide to choose the tool advanced manual tool, advanced manual mesh, and we can decide for example to modify a node by moving itself, moving its coordinates. And so it gives, uh, of course, uh, a better quality for this element. So when check against the quality, another element appears to be the worst. And we will do the same. So take, uh, take a node, uh, adjust the compass, to be able to move it uh, in the direction we want. And so you can move like this, click OK, get out of this, and just update the, the quality and uh, you can notice that uh, uh, the elements have become green. So continue a little bit for you to, to, get, uh, to get the method. What is the, uh, what uh, FEM utility is unable to do? Select a node, and uh, what you can do with that, you can, you can rotate a little bit the compass to move the node properly. Uh, click OK. You can get out of the, of the little workbench, update the, the quality visualization in Catch v 5 and you can notice that the elements are not red anymore. So to continue about this, you see there are four elements, four yellow elements, and it's a little bit for us, so we want to delete these four elements and to recreate two elements uh, after that. So you can delete elements by simply click on them, click OK, elements have disappeared, OK. And after, after what you can uh, create elements uh, the type you want, for example, triangular. It's exactly what we want in that case. Click three nodes, and uh, the triangular element has been designed. And for the second element, you do the same. And so, uh, it's okay. So, but uh, the mesh edition, we have finished here. Uh, we are satisfied about the mesh quality, okay. And we are now able to fulfill all the skin in selecting oak tree triangular mesh plus uh, the modification we, we we made and fulfill that in parabolic tetrahedron, for, of course. After that, we can uh, deactivate the the skin mesh, the mesh of the skin, and keep the three D mesh like this which is parabolic tetrahedron. We change uh, workbench, we go to general analysis structural to, to do what? To create a material which will be a steel, basic steel of Katia. And so we'll create a 3D property based on our tetrahedron mesh, for example, and a material steel. Okay, so it is for the pre-processing. What we can do then, we can create some rigid virtual part, which corresponds to RBO2 uh, for natural language. So we pick the support and choose the handler point, which will be the, the master node, in fact. Okay, so we will continue to create what we need to lead the 
correctly this uh, pre-processing. So here too. So we need to apply, of course, boundary conditions and loads. And so we create a rigid virtual part to enable this, to help us to do this. So pick the hand point here. And the same just above. Okay. And so it finished about uh, creating a rigid virtual part, RBO2. And so we can pass to to the processing about the boundary condition. So we'll decide to clamp the node in the middle of the of the shaft, representing the the shaft. Afterwards, we'll dispatch some some loads, concentrated loads that will apply on the end points. So on that point, the load will be minus 1215 Newton along the Z direction and same just above. It's equally report, uh, distributed. At that point, the inertial force, which will be in the global uh, Axis system minus three thousand seven hundred fifteen Newton. Okay. Just here it was the weight of the car. So here we will apply some loads due to the the brake system. It will be in a local coordinate system along the second direction, 1,500 Newton. So tangential effort. And so we do the same here. Select the local for tangential, eff tangential effort due to friction, but brake system. And so preprocessing has been done, uh, everything is okay, and we can, with this button, Katnas, Katya Nastra, create a new case, okay, which uh, which has uh, the static case that we created. We can check for the export, we have the path and uh, the unit user unit system, and we'll export mesh, everything, in fact. So right click, export, And that file will be created in the path that we, we have seen, so directly here. So it's exactly the, the file that we, we have named like this. So we'll, uh, just to show you that we are able to, to launch directly an Astron calculation, I will directly tap the command to launch the Nastron calculation on, on the, the, this server. And you see the calculation is running now. And I had nothing to do, nothing to add in that file. That file was already... Uh, uh, was ready, in fact, for the a direct calculation. And so now uh, a result file has been uh, created. Calculation is over and uh, su successfully uh, finished. And what we can see now is that we are able, thanks, thanks to Nastron Gateway, which has, in fact, bilateral gateway, so which has uh, two directions, we, we are able to import a lot of things um, so has a result, Nastron result. So we can import these results in Katia. We don't tick import geometry because we already have a mesh uh, about the steer knuckle. We just import results and the mapping will be directly uh, 
done on our mesh. Uh, we choose a stressful tensor, for example. And so you can see, you can visualize in Katia not strong results, which is quite good. So you can see the maximum uh, stressful tensor com uh, component uh, has a value of uh, of 19.2 uh, megapascal. You can animate to see uh, the deformation about the knuckle under this uh, this load case. And this is really the results from Nastron Solver, not Elfini. So to, to be able to compare, we can also, for example, compute the same relation with, uh, with Elfini. So computing in progress. And once that is done, we can generate an image from Elfini. This time, we'll choose the same uh, output, stressful tensor component, nodal values. And on this simple calculation, simple model, we have the same maximum values. Yes, which is 19.2 MPA. So we can be satisfied about this. So this concludes the presentation, uh, this presentation about uh, some functionalities of FEM utilities. Thanks for your listening.